Hello, and welcome back to our series on the procurement process. In today's lesson, we'll go through the procurement overview as one of the various reporting tools made available by SAP. One key benefit of SAP is that it offers real-time reporting and monitoring to aid in forming efficient and accurate business decisions. Executing our transaction, I'll go ahead and enter in my currency in order to do my dashboard. So the procurement overview application gives a high level view on the various key performance indicators. The information is displayed on a set of actionable cards with numerous filters to facilitate easy access to information in the form of reports for the user. For instance, with our supplier performance monitoring, the application determines the score based on the operational score and the questionnaire scores. The questionnaire scores combining the soft and the hard facts. With the hard facts, we are looking at different criteria based on our price, time of delivery, and the quantity delivered by our supplier. And for our soft facts, we're also looking at questionnaire results that have been filled out. So for instance, on the right side of my screen, you can see the various suppliers that we are seeing the report on. And clicking on each bubble as represented by the supplier, we can see the operational score, the questionnaire scores, as well as the total spend for each of them. And also we are able to filter based on the various filter options as shown on my screen. We also have the spend analysis card where we are able to view our purchasing spend trend, comparing our purchase order net amounts, our planned spend of schedule line, as well as our expected spend of our purchase requisition. Also on this card, we are able to filter based on various options. So I can see my trend based on each supplier. I can also see this as per each requesting department. Now, another reporting tool on the platform is the patch analytics, where you go into specific KPIs. So here you can filter and dice your information as according to what the user wants to see. So selecting the view on our overdue purchase order items. Here, the system breaks down the information based on each supplier, as well as comparing the previous year as against the total spend trend per each supplier. Also here, we are able to slice and dice and filter our information based on our defined criteria, whether you're purchasing group by plant or by material group. The system also has that flexibility. So you are able to see the information that you want. This brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video to see our other lessons. Thank you.